Hey guys, it's Charlie. Yesterday I went to a mushroom meetup hosted by this guy I found on Reddit and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that experience, what I got out of it, what I gave to it, what the whole vibe was like, and how you can become a part of this too. So, uh, essentially what happened was my buddy Logan hit me up and he was like, hey dude, there's this mushroom meetup thing happening. This one guy grew this crazy awesome mushroom called Lucid Gates and I can't make it, but you should go and get me one of their cultures. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, so uh, this sounds good. I wasn't doing anything Saturday morning, so um, I, went on, I went online, I went on Reddit, I found the post. The post was posted by a guy named Isaac with Yakfish Medicinals, and he took a picture of this gorgeous mushroom that was like this big, man, this, and like I'm telling you, like a 200 gram mushroom, super white, blues rippling through it the it had the waves kind of like jack frost and others other um unique strains and it was a very very beautiful mushroom so i was like that's awesome i would love to have that as the um starter for my culture library which i'm just getting started now doing so um that was my inspiration for going um also just to meet people and kind of become more involved in the community um as well so I found out where the, the park was. It was in Thornton. So I get up on Saturday and I show up about 45 minutes early because I wanted to make sure I got one of these. And um, and I'm walking around, there's this huge kids park and I probably look like super sketch because I've got like my black backpack and I've got a black envelope with my mushroom chamber in it. And I'm just like walking around like, okay, where's the mushroom thing? Um, but yeah, so uh, eventually somebody I posted on on a, on the on the Reddit post like, hey, what's who should I look for? And uh, one guy said that he was hanging out by the skate park, and so I walk up there and I meet up with the first couple people, and so that was pretty fun. Uh, it was kind of uh, low energy at first, and we were just kind of talking, hanging out, and then suddenly Isaac arrives, and Isaac and Isaac comes up, and I think his um. Uh, his girlfriend or wife or an, uh, another lady didn't catch her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, she was there too, and she starts setting up the table, and Isaac starts talking to me, and this guy has a ton of energy, okay? He is just, like, s bouncing off the walls, super excited about mushrooms, and that was, it was, it was really cool to experience because um, before he got there, it was just kind of, you know, just a chill morning, and then suddenly this, like, wave of energy just hits everyone, and everyone starts talking, and it just, it was amazing to see um, the transfer of energy that he was able to project onto the people that were already there. So that continued as, as more people showed up and once 20 to 30 people got there, it was like a party. It was, everyone was talking, everyone was having a good time. A couple people brought name tags so everyone could put their names on it so there wasn't that awkward like, uh, what was your name again thing? <laughs> uh, so that was cool. Um, there was one guy there that I that um, was passing out some syringes and I managed to get one of those. His name, I, I unfortunately I didn't catch his actual name, but he made this really cool package thing and he put a, a cotton, uh, a uh, what, what this is is a spore swab and it's kind of like a spore print you know how you take a cap and you set it on a piece of foil and it drops a nice um the spores drop and create like a actual print on the foil um well this kind of a accomplishes the same goal you just capture the spores on the cotton at the top of the swab and then you put it back in and close it up and it's usually pretty sterile so that's cool i got a cubensis uh tianicot there uh, and he even put a whole like historical background of this uh, variety um, and how it was known as the divine mushroom or God's flesh or flesh of the gods. Um, and it says happy Native American Heritage Month. So that's really, really cool. So thank you so much for that. Um, he even has this like nice card with his socials on it um, and a website, freshoffthecap.com. And he even wrote they're like happy prop 122 so that's really cool so thank you for that dude uh, i wish i caught your name um reach out to me and uh, i'll be sure to add your name in there but um but yeah so when you go to those meetups people pass out and trade things like that all the time so it's a really good way to increase your library to give what you have to contribute and come and and uh yeah so that's a lot of fun um i also got the um the lucid gates culture that i was very excited about that's this here and what that is is just a little bit of the culture on an agar plate and it's growing out right now and i'm super excited about it so once it grows out a little more i'm going to take that 
and I'm gonna clone a few so I can give them out to my friends. And at the next meetup, they're gonna be like, hey, I got this on so-and-so date with Yakfish Medicinals thing. And, um, and Eric from the Denver Sport Company, this is their special thing. So let me give that special thing to you because with the cool part about cultures is you can expand them for next to nothing and it doesn't take a lot of time either. So very cool, thank you for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. You know, these meetups, they happen all the time. And a big part of the mushroom um, hobby is to get involved in your community and to do things with your friends and to learn together. Uh, because that's, you know, that's what it's all about. That's what being human is. It's not just going online and finding the texts and hiding in your basement, growing a bajillion mushrooms. You want to get out there and share what you've learned and, and, and be involved. That's, that's what life's all about. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see catch you next time. Bye.